these. <laughs> We're going to be doing a soap project with these. I'm going to put the soap dough away because we don't need that. That's for a different project. This is lavender soap. Now these bars were too small. So we are going to do some fun things with them. Now I think those might, that one's the perfect size to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to make individual soap leaves with our scraps. So we're going to do some little bunnies. And the cool thing about this tool is I can just layer them. Then when it's full, because I can see inside there, it's a little thick right there. Get as many of these as we can. Get one more before we need to push it out. Now we've got a little tool here for pushing it out. <laughs> it's called my finger. <laughs> got these cute little tins that we can use. I'm going to see if I can make these thinner. I don't know if I can. I don't know if my planer is good enough to do that. I really don't like my planer. I think I have the worst planer ever. Nope, that idea didn't work. <laughs> But we can use this for the other idea. That's so beautiful. So I'll just set those aside. <laughs> Another pile. Uh, okay, this, I don't know if this one's going to work. All right, so the scraps we're going to use for another project that is related. So we'll see, you can see what I'm going to do with the scraps later. But we want them to all dry out. Alright, so there's our little bunnies. How cool are they? We can put our little single. Now they're a little bigger so you can hold on to them. Now if you put them in the organza bag, you'll get more than one wash. I guarantee it. All right, so I have the worst planer in the world, so I'm going to try to get some thin sheets of soap. Oh, maybe I don't have the worst one. It's going well so far. Now these are going to be single use soap, hopefully to be used all at once and not have a ton left over. So we're just, it's working. The idea that I didn't think was going to work, looks like it's going to work. We'll see. We'll see. Oops. So if you have some thicker pieces of soap that you can plain. I need something to hold this down. So I have an even planing surface. Oh, that looks like, that looks just like pasta. Now you can, I can adjust the thickness. Of this. Ah. Okay. Oh, this is so thin <laughs> that I'm having trouble getting this piece out. 
so there is a little troubleshooting to go through and if your soap is too dry it will just shred so that's not going to work this planer is not going to work you might have a better planer than i hope you do because this is an awesome idea especially if you're already planing your soap all right while it's soft so you get two products for one batch of soap. Next. I like it, it's really cool. Happy Easter, everyone. It's one of my favorite holidays of the year, next to Christmas, of course. That's enough. It's enough of a bunny. <laughs> I really don't think the recipients are going to complain too much. The ones that aren't perfect, well, I will use them. Um, you can also add a little more detail to them, which I will be doing after they've dried a bit more. So this is just the beginning steps. Come back in a little bit. And we'll do some more. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go fast. three here. I think I can pry them out. You know what? This side works better than the other side. I think that sharp edge just cuts into it. So if you have this tool, nice soap dough. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, 
that was kind of painful. And then there's a few imperfects here still, but I will use those to test with. All right. Hey everyone, welcome back. Here are my painting of Soap Believes project for Easter finish up, I guess you could call it. Um, these are my first tries and they break really easy as you can see. Don't try to flatten them out because they'll just crack <laughs> if they're this thin. Um, so yeah, I lost an ear there. <laughs> These are my finished, I'm just going to go ahead and finish uh, painting. And uh, the best way I found for my micas to be nice and thick is I had some water, so you can see that, water dispersible zinc oxide and that's how I made my pastel with my favorite um, micas. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol in each of these one at a time because it, it does um, it does dissipate quite quickly and you're wanting a thicker a thicker um, consistency. So we're going to put quite a bit in there. But we've got, oops, I'm making a mess. This thin consistency is too thin. So if it gets too thin, you can always thicken it up again. Too much, five sprays was too much. So let's put Let's put one down here. I don't exactly have my tripod. You just paint it on. You want it thin. If you want it thicker, then don't add as much. I had it down pat. I should have just finished them all because I wanted them nice and dark pastel like that. I'll bring it back. Okay, let's try this again. One handed filming is hard. That's the thickness we're looking for. If you try to do t detail like me, I just, yeah, it's kindergarten stuff. Don't do that. Just don't even bother. <laughs> For a single use soap, I'm not sure it's worth the effort, but if you are able to and you have lots of time, go for it. I'd love to see what you can create. I will not be offended at all if yours is better than mine. It's just soap. Oops. Not the napkin, just soap. All right, so that's how it's done. I'll bring you back. All right, so them. we're just going to glitter it and make it all better now. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> so like decorating Easter eggs, if you're good at that, you'll probably be good at this too. Not so much. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in the tin as soon as they're dry and take okay, a So there we go. If you enjoyed this, come on back. We're going to do a demo next. All right, so here's our little broken one. I'm trying to do this one handed, which is a little hard. I'll bring you back when I can show you more both. Okay, 20 seconds of hand washing, 100 million times a day. Be safe, everyone. Bye for now.